Hello guys, welcome to All Over the Mechanic and today's episode we're gonna replace a uh, belt tensioner of a Ford Falcon. This one. Uh, the same time, same uh, Ford we, la we replaced last time, the shock absorber. Same car, hatchback Ford and we're gonna replace now the belt tensioner, the pulley and the drive belt. Here's the part number of the kit. Maybe you want the part number. That's the part number. And shout out again to the owner of this one, my friend, my best friend, Manuel. And before we're gonna start, hit the intro. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. <clears throat> Actually, this is the car that we replaced last time the shock absorber, the front shock absorber. Uh, if you want to see the video how to replace the front shock absorber of this one, I have on my video description at the bottom. gonna remove this radiator mm. fan and then we got a uh, 10 mil here 10 mil here and 10 mil there After we remove that one, I think we can pull out this one now. Okay, there you go. Why are we gonna replace this one? Because you see the tension of the dry belt is not quite strong already. See, it's create a squeaking noise. And sometimes the power the steering uh, the steering is quite hard sometimes because the belt is not tension enough. You see, this one is not quite good. Tensioner already. That one is not quite good. You see, but we're gonna put the new one later, and you can see it's, it's not this one. It's not like clumsy like this. Okay. Now we can see the tensioner already. That one is the tensioner. This one is the pulley, that's the water pump, alternator, aircon, power steering. I'm gonna remove the belt now. It's a new tensioner, you can see this one. We can use the 3.8, 3.8 ratchet. See, this one is fit here. Uh, 3.8 to pry this one, like that. And you can use this one, 3.8. Right, this one going to the right. Yep, see it's moving. And then you can remove the belt. There you go. Okay, that's it. You have 10 mil, I'm gonna remove that tensioner. 10 mil, 10 mil, where are you? Here. Going to the left. Ooh. That's off. That's not tight. Breaking. Okay. And you will not be mistaken because there's a guide. You see there's a guide. You can feel this guide. You put this one also at the hole there. To guide it up. Okay. That's the old one. Hmm. And we're gonna remove also this one. Same 10 mil pulley, dry belt pulley. <laughs> it's hard. Okay, that's it. Yep.
Okay, put this one here, old one. And if you want to replace the water pump, it's easy. It's only a couple of bolts there and you can replace the water pump. But this water pump is okay. And air cons, okay. Yep. I always spin this one. All the thing, if I remove the belt to see if there's a, like uh, sometimes it's quite hard to spin. That one is not quite good. Like I do this one standard, if I remove the belt, you see, it's all good, it's all spin, that's good. This one, you cannot spin, that one is a pulley. <laughs> it's a hard one. And sometimes this one also broken the harmonic balancer because this one is a rubber. Yeah, sometimes this one is also broken. This one spin, but this one stay. So hopefully, like a future video, if I replace this one, I'll put a video also. And... Yeah, if you want to see more video, just remember, hit like and subscribe for future video. We have a new one here with new bolt. Yeah, shiny. Inspect the same, maybe it's not the same. No, it's the same. It's good. Belt, groove, yeah, it's the same. Okay, we can put this one now, but I want to put some little bit Loctite here. Yep, just a little bit. Because this one's a moving part. Can put this one now. Okay, it's good. Right, this one not quite tight because it's only 10 mil. It's <coughs> good. And spin, good. And we can put the new tensioner. Where's the new tensioner? Here's the new tensioner. Double check if it's the same. Yep, the same, the same. Lock tight just a little bit. There you go. And you will not be mistaken with this one because there's a guide. See, there's a guide there. Put that one on the guide. There you go. Hopefully the camera is on frame. 10 mil. Again, just don't over tight because it's a 10 mil only. That's enough. Good. Spin, spin, spin. Okay. We can put the new belt now. I always put the belt the position that I can read, like this one. I can read it if I want to read it, you see, like this. Not like this one because if you put it opposite, you cannot read it, you see. You cannot read it, but if you uh, put this one like this, you can read it. You can read the detail like this one. I installed this one. Oh, the belt that I installed is I put it like this. I will put the on the screen the diagram of this one. I think I'm gonna. I will remove this one first at the top. This one, so I can put it at the bottom. Now, I can tension again. Yep, I can tension the tensioner now. I can swing it. This one. Go to the right. That one is quite strong tensioner. Okay. Okay. And voila. So good. You see the tension of this one now it's yeah, you cannot yeah, it's more tension, not like the old one. The old one is like freaking it moved this one straight away, but 
this one is all good let's put the radiator fan i think that's it that's it for this video how to replace uh tensioner and the pulley hopefully in the future video i can replace also this one harmonic balancer so just don't forget to subscribe for more video future video and shout out also to my beautiful wife Rhea and my handsome Vince son is not here they're not they're not here uh, my wife is go to work my son is uh, on the school <laughs> they told me that your next video you're gonna shout out to us okay shout out to my mama Rhea beautiful mama Rhea and my handsome Vince handsome son Vince okay this is for the video for today and hopefully you like it subscribe again and like and see you on the next video Oliver signing out losing time I'm fading fast I just want to